Hi Year 3-4, welcome to another week of home learning. We're carrying on our English this week with Leon and the space between. Today's session um, is going to involve two objectives. The first one is I can use rich vocabulary and the second one is I can innovate and we'll talk about that one in a moment. First, let's look at I can use rich vocabulary. So I'd like you to look back at your learning from Wednesday last week. OK, do you remember you listened to the story and you made notes of interesting words and you looked at whether those words were nouns, adjectives, verbs or adverbs. And you might have done that in a table in a list like this, or you might have done it in a spider diagram or a mind map like this. So have a look back and have that learning with you. Today, we're going to be trying to come up with the best vocabulary we can using these pictures as inspiration. So I've had a little think about our story in Leon and the magic and the circus, and I've chosen pictures that are going to inspire me to help me think of some really rich vocabulary. Okay, we'll come back to this page. So... When we're looking at all of those photographs and pictures and we're trying to come up with some really rich vocabulary, we need to make sure we know what these word classes are. So you did very well with your nouns. A noun is a person, place, idea or thing, like girl or circus. You're really superstars using adjectives. Okay, They are words that describe the noun, like shadowy or bright. You've got a good handle on verbs. They're doing, having or being words like lit or applauded. Okay, these things happened. The adverbs some of you found a little bit tricky, which is fine. Okay, adverbs give detail about how the verb has happened or where the verb has happened. Okay, so if something was lit, it might have been dimly lit. If somebody had applauded, they might have done it loudly. Okay, you see how these adverbs give extra information to how these verbs are happening. Okay, so I want you to pay special attention to the adverbs this week because they're going to give real detail and meaning to your writing. Okay, so our first objective is to be looking at these pictures, gathering some ideas about how you might write your own story. What rich vocabulary could we see? So I started off by changing our main character into a girl. OK, you can see the circus ring there where all of the performers will carry out their acts. Now, instead of meeting a boy, She's going to meet this girl. Can you see how she's dressed? There were jugglers and magicians in our story. And I have found an aerial hoop artist because I really like what they do. We've got our wonderful magic circus tent, a very special magical box and some beautiful otherworldly lit animals. And this wonderful, luminous river. Our story with Leon had a white rabbit and I thought we'd have this colourful toad. And here, instead of the cards and wands, we've got a harlequin mask. Some of you might have seen those before. So first of all, you're going to draw up your table with your four word classes and you're going to see how many nouns you can come up with. Can you use some adjectives to describe them? Maybe this girl is shy. What about some verbs? Maybe the whale swam. How did he swim? Gently. Maybe the hummingbird fluttered quickly. So pause the video now while you do that. 
Well done. Now you might want to add to that list in a moment, but let's have a look at how we're going to innovate the story. OK, so you might remember doing this before when we box up our story. Last week, we looked at sequencing the story, so that meant getting all of the events in order. And it's a little bit like that. Here in this column, we have imitated the story. We've written the key events. Leon, who loves magic, goes to the circus with Tom, Pete and Little Mo. And we've done that all the way to the end of the story. OK, when we innovate the story, we keep to the main story, but we change little parts like the name of the main character. OK, Grace, who loves aerial artists, goes to the circus with Hazel, Sam and Little Pete. OK, and for day, today I want you to ignore the invent column. Now, I have only innovated the first four boxes. And if you've got a printer at home, you can print this out. You might ask your grown-ups to delete what I've put in this column so you can write your very own. OK. Instead of Leon meeting the magician, I have the bravest aerial artist in all of the land asked for a volunteer to perform a magic stunt. And Grace then enters the hoop. She fell down into a luminous turquoise river and met a girl in a red ringmaster's jacket. So these are my ideas. You might like to change them a little. You might like to completely change them. I've said that when Grace goes to the place unseen, she sees those harlequin masks. There are wands and clouds of confetti. And a dove soared and swooped. An aerial hoop artist span through the air and a bejeweled toad had been left behind. OK. So the first four boxes I have innovated. So the second objective is I would like you, please, to see how you can change the story to make it more of your own. And here is Sefi to say hello. She's joined us this week and hopefully she'll get to see you one day. I'm going to leave the video back on all of the images to help you be inspired with your writing. I look forward to seeing what you come up with.